I start your reading laughing because <laughs> of my pre-shuffle. Taurus, we've been following a storyline for you. Let's follow it some more, shall we? It's a fitting reading for you today with the true node reading going up, the north node changing, the nodes changing signs, the north node going into Taurus. How about a Taurus energies update? How about that? Pulling on through that energy, I might add, that north node change energy. Well, let's have a look here. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. I promise you that. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. It's for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. You've been following along, Taurus. It's, well, these are some of my most watched readings, your sign. You got yourself, not unlike Leo and Pisces and Cancer for that matter, you got yourself quite a little soap opera going here. Days of our Taurus lives, right? Um, okay, my pre-shuffle, Eight of Wands. I open with the Eight of Wands. Somebody's turning their ass around. They're turning it around, I, energetically anyway. For some of you, it'll be 3D. For some of you, it'll just be 5D. I don't know. I just read energy. I'm not a fucking psychic. Maybe a little bit psycho, but I'm not a psychic. Right here, Eight of Wands. You got some forward movement coming. Someone's making forward movement towards you because crossing that is the Ten of Wands. Tens are the end. <coughs> Excuse me. Tens are the end that uh, lead to transformation. It resets to an Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Somebody wants to talk to you very soon about a new beginning, but it's going to start out like they don't. It's going to start out Queen of Swords, a little cold, shut down. Why? Probably their ego. Why? Well, uh, because you're their happiness. Again, somebody wants to talk to you. It is a card of communication. It's the sun. The sun illuminates everything. Look at that girl on the card, right? Yeah. It's like the sun is her giant vibrator, for fuck's sake. Yeah. But their egos in the way a little bit. They probably show up Queen of Swordsy, male or female. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but this person, here it is. It's right here. I normally I say healing off of this card or their heart chakras opening. No, it's some sort of fucking. No matter what age they are, some sort of fucking midlife crisis or something. I don't know. Next time, buy a Corvette, asshole. You're right here. They're coming back. Six of Swords. You're in choppy water now. You won't be very soon. It is a slow-moving energy. And I see that a little bit here. There's a burden that's about to break. You know, the dam's about to break with the Ten of Wands. They're coming. This is my lead card. This is the universe not fucking around here. This pre-shuffle is just me talking to the universe before I pull your reading. I don't have to show it to you, but I do. Why not? Why shouldn't you be privy to that conversation? It's about you. I don't want to talk about you behind your back with the fickle old gal, universe. Right here, they're showing up a little cold. It's ego. I pick up some ego in here. This person, hey, I'm going to quote Eddie Murphy. Great Eddie Murphy from Saturday Night Live. One of my favorite little skits he did. He had a line. He was singing a song. Better start running because it's much too late to jog. He was singing about a fat ass. But this is dumbass. Better start talking because it's much too late for this shit. Right here for fancy sandals and... You know, whatever. No, 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 no. That's not acceptable. And I told you that last time in your last reading. I told you that's not acceptable. Let's shuffle the deck. Remember, we were talking about Taurus titties. I remember. I remember a little bit. I tend to wash the readings, but I remember. No Taurus titties unless you come like a grown-up. I remember. Okay. Got thousands of Taurians all over the damn world with Taurus titties t-shirts now walking around. Good for you. Don't wear a bra with that. All right, here we go. Male or female? I'm shuffling the deck right now for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's see what we got. Give me the soulmate cycle. What am I, stuttering, John? Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Taurus. What the hell is wrong with me today? All right, here we go. Okay. This, this is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? Yeah, there's the heart chakra opening. And there's fear around this. It's a strength card. There's fear around this. This always reminds me of uh, that Batman villain, Two-Face. Right? One side of his face is evil. And the other side is very handsome. It's right there. There's Two-Face. Yeah, That's that Queen of Swords energy I was talking about. So I think they're trying to puff themselves up a little. But not in the way of a King of Wands. Otherwise we would have gotten that. I get it. Hopefully I explained it properly because 
They're showing up soon. Mm-hmm. Three of Wands, we're right on the edge. The grass wasn't greener on the other side, I keep telling you that. It wasn't. I feel a lot of love here. I don't have a card to back it up, but I feel a lot of love. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go. Give the deck a final shuffle for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Taurus universe. And don't fuck around. Give me a reading. Let's not fuck around with Taurus here. All right? Let's go. What, what do we got? It knows what I mean by give me a reading. The universe and I are old friends. It's been using me as a damn conduit since I was four years old. I just let it happen because I don't have any choice. Me, I'd rather be fishing. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> A lot of people want to be out here on YouTube. They're like, this is their dream. They got their channel. It's growing and they're doing crazy. I, I got no choice. If, if I try to leave, the, it's not, it, it'll just like spontaneously pop back up. I'm cool with it. I like it. These readings are a little draining. But I never liked being the conduit my whole life. It's not something I enjoy. I didn't ask for it. All right. Oh. Four of Swords, midlife crisis is our overall energy. It, it is. I feel a fucking midlife crisis off of this. These are the readings. I got to tell you. <sighs> Never mind. Midlife crisis. Right here. What, what's fueling this? What's crossing this Four of Swords? Y'all look. Look who's coming back. Right there. Coming back. Yeah, it wasn't greener on the other side. It, it, it's like this. It, it's like, look at the picture of that girl laying there in the nest. Oh, God. This sucks. That's them on the other side where they thought the grass was greener. You see any green grass? I don't. Maybe a, that sky, I think, over there. I don't think that's green grass. It might be, but there ain't much of it. And I wouldn't call that greener. They're rolling in. Let's see what we got here. Soon, too, according to the card after the cut. All right, let's go. Here we go. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels and their emotions. And I'll tell you what, this is 3D. I'm going to dig in. Private emotions. I'm going to rip them apart. Right here is how they feel about you and the soul. Not what they show you. Not what they tell you. This person is so full of shit. I have to be honest. I always say because it's a lie. Or I always say, for, you know, like if I pull a reading for most signs. Not what they show you. Not what they tell you because it's bullshit or something like that. No, this person is full of shit. Right here is how do they, it is the hidden energy. I'm going to talk to the universe tell you what she says. It's red with the energy of the connection. And right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I can't predict free will. Nobody can. God, I wish I could. I wish I could control free will. The world would be fucking amazing. It would. It'd be fucking great. We'd all just go fishing. Okay. I'll let, I will clarify everything. Throw some universe cards over the top. If I think I need to extend this one, I will. I don't know yet. Hmm. I ain't here to nickel and dime anybody, but if I need more information, I'll, I'll extend it. If not, I'll just pull some side readings if I don't think it's, it's enough. How's that for honesty for you? I'm not going to hold your reading hostage. I'm not going to charge you, nickel and dime you for something. You got to go to the extended to get, oh man, I hate that shit. I gotta, I'm, I'm at war with that. I'll tell you what, I'm all for earning a living, but man, people are suffering out there. Be cool. Give them a fucking reading. Right here is the energy around the connection. The sun. Look at this. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. What do you need to grow grass? What? The sun, right? What's on this card at the bottom? Yeah, that looks like grass to me. And it looks like a fuck of a lot more grass than what this might be in this little corner might be underneath that nest. It's exactly, the energy is exactly as I described it to you. I said, what's the energy around your connection? The, the greener grass. And the, and the universe pulls me a card with grass on it. Yeah, and not the one with the girl pooping in the yard. The disappointment one. Mm. How do they feel in their emotions in the 3D? Let's see. Well, let's find out. How do they feel? Oh, look who can... It's exactly what I told... My God, I have to be at least your second best. Second favorite energy reader. Please, give me at least the silver medal. Okay, don't give me a bronze. Nobody wants the bronze. It's worthless. It's not... You can't even hock it at a pawn shop. Bronze? What do I want with bronze for? Fucking hell. Yeah, that's what I told you from the pre-shuffle. It's fancy sandals again. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, how they feel in their emotions. They may come across... I don't, if this person shows up and they, and they start a fight with you or tell you your shit or tell you you smell funny, I like, you know, whatever. I don't fucking... 
It, it, it's a lie. This person is full of shit. How do they feel in the soul about you? Not what they show you, not what they tell you. Because this person's full of shit. Oh, <laughs> we got cards from the pre-shuffle coming back. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. You're a burden on their soul. Of course you are, because they went through, instead of buying a Corvette like a normal human being, they went out and probably either stayed with something that sucked and blew you off, uh, or went out and just banged someone else. I get a strong message in the Taurus reading, it cuts both ways. Some of you, you were with the person and they left you, and some of you, this person just blew you off to stick with something else or to focus on their career or whatever it was. Either way, they blew you off. And it's just bullshit. This Ten of Wands is itching to reset to an Ace of Wands. I can feel that. It's like the end. It, tens are the end. This is like 10.9. It's like literally the end end. It's going to pop. That's why we got the Three of Wands coming soon to a Taurus near you after the cut. Now let's talk to the universe. Come on. Let's talk to the fickle old gal. It's red with the sun. It can't be bad. And it's not. It's the Eight of Wands again. It's communication read with communication. They're coming in. They're coming back, but I don't like how. This is not going to get you Taurus titties. You're not coming back and being all mean and shit and, and cold and not telling someone how you feel and then get the Taurus titties. You don't get them. It's not going to happen. I hope to God it's not. I don't want to see a tweet from you. I gave him the Taurus titties, Steve. I don't want to see that. I'll see the titties if you, you know, but I don't want to see that you, I don't want to hear that you gave them the Taurus titties. If they show up like this, no, they need to come real. It's what I told you last time. Okay. I'm bleeding in some of the node energy here. That's why it's speeding up. That's why we got them coming soon with the three of wands after the cut. I got the eight of wands again. The universe says, this is fast. This is like a tower. It's fast. It's passionate forward movement. Because the grass is greener on the, on the connection side with you. And it's a real burden in their soul. Poor baby. Poor, oh, poor baby. Buy a Corvette next time. Shithead. Got a whole city full of midlife crisis here in Los Angeles. You always see the, the bald little fucker in the goddamn Corvette look like he should be driving a Prius or something like that. Yeah, we know why you bought the Porsche or the Corvette, asshole. Right here, bang some 20-year-old tail. That's why you did it. Right here, potential final outcome. Temperance. Communication when it falls here. It is literally communication when it falls here. It's balanced energy. It's happiness. You are their happiness. They're going to learn real fast. This tells me, these two read together, they're going to learn real fast that this isn't going to get the Taurus titties. Probably because you're listening to me. I'm pulling this reading for you, not all Taurus people on the planet. This reading, the energy that's here, the universe knows who's going to be here. It's for you. So you're getting information. And I'm telling you, keep them things locked up. Put a bra on that day. When they come, yeah, make them work for it. Put two on. Now oh, that'll really fuck them up. One strap's in the front, the other one strap's in the back. Oh, fuck, I don't know what to do. They'll never get in there. Ah, fucking hell. All right, I'm going to switch decks. I don't want to switch decks. God. You know. Okay. Why is the sun here? Oh my God. I pick up the deck randomly. The sun's at the bottom. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Really? You going to give me a bronze medal? Come on. Fuck. What the hell? All right. Why is the sun here? Come on. Why is the sun here? Let's clarify. And I'm going to go deep for you in the clarification. And I'm going to bring in some, some north node energy for when it flow, flies into uh, your sign on the 18th, okay? Because that energy is here a little bit. It's, that's why I did the node shift reading today. I could, so I did. And I was in the mood for it anyway. It was a nice reading. Driven by the universe. Purely divine reading. I don't remember a word I said. I shit you not. I remember Taurus titties, but I don't remember anything about from your last reading, but I don't remember anything about a reading I did a few hours ago. Why is the sun here? I was channeling some shit. I hope I didn't say anything. 
crazy. The universe is a fickle old gal. She's crazy. I'll tell you what. Sometimes she drinks. All right. But by <laughs> crossing the uh, sun card is the uh, ace of pentacles. Yeah, slowly but surely. They, it took them a while to figure it out. It took them a while to figure it out. But th this person has some ego. It, it, they might be successful. You know, your person might be successful. They might be have some pentacles. I, I don't know. There's something here. I, I'll figure it out. But either way, it, it, you're going to talk. It, you're going to have a conversation, but they need to come right. And I think they will. I think they're going. Temperance here tells me this is angel energy. I think they're going to figure it out quick that that this ain't going to work, and they need to keep the sword there and maybe show some love because I'm not seeing it here. I'm seeing the grass is greener on the other side and I drew an ace of pentacles over the top of this which is a very kind of pentacly cold energy. It's just telling me it's come, it took them a while to figure it out. But what I'm not seeing on the table are any cups. I got no cups on the table yet I feel love. I love you doing this reading. I have to swim in their energy to do this reading. And I absolutely love you right now. Mind blowing. And, but the difference is, I would tell you, you would whip them titties out for me because I would tell you. That, that this shit, I would never approach someone I love like this. Even if I fucked up. Alright? At the least, I would buy them a Corvette. Alright? Right here. Eight, yeah, more Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, it's a. This. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Six of Swords. Like the third time we've seen the Six of Swords. Remember, it's at the bottom of the deck. It's underneath. It, it, it's it's underneath the uh, Four of Swords here, the midlife crisis. No matter what age they are. Uh, anyway, it's slow. It's the third slowest energy in the deck and the slowest energy in the deck. And it's it's Pentacles crossing, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and Six of Swords. It, it's choppy. They want to work on this. They they now want to work on this. I don't know what the holdup is. It happens fast, it happens soon, but it happens in a way that I don't know. It might I've told you this before and and it could be this energy that's here now. I've told you this before. It might start in a fight. But you you two need to have some kind of conversation to clear up some sort of misunderstanding or clear up something. And because if they come with this attitude, it's going to start as a fight. But it might end in the bedroom. With temperance here, it might. It might. I don't know. Not all of you. Some of you, again, I can't. For some of you, it's just energetically they're coming towards you. Uh, not a lot, though. That's a low number. I feel like I'm on card sharks. Okay. Higher. It's lower. <laughs> they used to make them answer questions before they could pick the cards. It was really annoying. I wish they'd just give the answer. I don't know why they had to give the story before the answer. I don't care what you think. Greta from Omaha. I don't give a fuck what you think. Just tell, Just pick a number. Why is uh, the Queen of Swords here? Alright. Oh. Nine of Swords crossing it. Yeah. They're worried. It's ego. Ego. E-G-O. Not the fucking waffle. That's E-G-G-O. It's E-G-O. Ego. They are... This is all fake. That's why they're coming in this way. They, they want the cake and eat it too. They want to come back. Well, the, the, the grass... Well, it's almost like they want to come in and say, Well, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. I didn't care for what I had over there. So I guess I'll come back to you. And then they just plop down in their chair and click on the TV. Or something. You know. Uh, okay. No. I don't care how fancy your sandals are. Not going to happen. Eight of Cups. Yeah, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. They want to come back to their happiness, but they're going about it the wrong way. It's going to start in a fight. I might fight with them. If it starts in a fight, have them call me. Get me on the phone. Right here, the, the hermit after that. They've done a lot of thinking about this. The, the grass, they knew the grass wasn't greener on the other side much long before they show back up. Okay? Whenever they show back up, it's going to be different timing for all of you. I'm bleeding in some of the North Node energy. That's an 18-month cycle. I'm not saying it's going to take them 18 months to come in. Don't panic. But I'm saying it's long-range energy. It takes it time to build and build and build. 
as it goes through the angles of the sign of Taurus. But they've been, they knew long before they come back in that the grass it wasn't greener where they were, that they should have just bought a Corvette. Okay, Ten of Wands, why is it here? Why is the Ten of Wands here in their soul? A lot of burden, a lot of, oh God, guilt. Guilt, that's what I'm picking up. I always, I always have trouble with that. I don't know why I have trouble picking up guilt. No, I got it. It's guilt. Right? It is. They're guilty about something. They feel bad about something. They feel bad. They're guilty. Guilty. What are they guilty about? What are they guilty about? Uh huh. <laughs> well, I don't know what they're guilty about, but crossing that card, which has a strong level of guilt around it, but it is a pain burden because the grass wasn't greener and all that. It's crossed by the eight point buck, rainbow antlered eight point buck. It's crossed by the king of pentacles. It, they have guilt about something they did to you because you're irreplaceable. Whatever it is, probably could be just walking away from you. If they did tell you you smelled funny, that's just mean. Okay? That's just mean. You owe them a, a shot back. You know? I'll tell you what. If it's a guy, if your person's a dude, just tell them their dick is small. And I'll tell you what, that'll that's payback for anything. Eh. Tell them your last person was bigger. Oh, that's, yeah, you win. <laughs> Point to Taurus, right? Right here. Ten of Cups on top of the Ten of Wands. Jesus, holy shit. They're guilty about ruining happiness, okay? It's guilt energy. All right, happiness they could have had. I know there's a split here in the Taurus. I know some of you were never with this person. So it's, it, they're, they're guilty about blowing off something irreplaceable. Look, the, the Bucks got rainbow antlers. I say, this is rainbow. It's the Ten of Cups. It's the fucking rainbow card, right? This card could sue Rainbow Bright, right? That, that little toy, it could sue the company, sue Hasbro or, or Mattel or whoever the fuck made it. This card had it first. They're guilty about ruining happiness or ruining it for, for, for themselves, walking away from it. Right here, Page of Swords, immaturity. It's an immature behavior. It's, they're disappointed in all, all that's in their soul is guilt, disappointment over happiness that's not there or was there and is no longer there over somebody who is irreplaceable, namely you. Fuck my ass. Okay, why is the Eight of Wands here? Mm. Let's talk to the universe. Let's have a chat with the fickle old gal. I'll buy her a beer. Well, she likes wine. I'll, I'll get her a burgundy. Okay. Why is the uh, Eight of Wands here? Let's see what she has to say. Let's see what she has to say. I don't know now. Okay. Oh. Oh. Crossed by the Seven of Cups. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's confusion. That's why they show up as the Queen of Swords. That confu confusion. What the fuck? Oh, oh, okay. Self sabotage. I, I had to see what was crossing it. The card underneath it is the Five of Swords. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it, it, it's confusing energy. So I'm reading it as confusion, which is a meaning of the card, yes. But no, it's just the energy itself coming off the card is confusing. The conversation you're going to have with this person, again, it's probably going to start as a fight. It's self-sabotage on their part. It's, it's, it's to save face, to save ego. They're not going to tell you, I'm the only person you're ever going to find out that this person knew the grass wasn't greener long before they showed up back to come get your green grass and mow your lawn. Okay, <clears throat> Knight of Cups, yeah. A lot of love here. There's the love hitting the table, finally. Finally. There it is. And that's a lot of love. I mean, when we're talking to the universe and the, and the Knight of Cups falls here, this is, that's, that's a lot. There's a lot of love here. I think it's on both sides. I do. I know you're pissed, but I think it's on both sides. I feel a lot of it. And there's a conflict, and that's the problem. That's why they self-sabotage it. That's why this energy is very confusing to read. There's all different ways they could come in. This person's picking the wrong way. Picking the wrong way. 
but they're coming underneath it is the chariot it's determination they're determined all i get off that card is determination but they're picking the wrong option on the lightseer deck we always say pick the red one right because he's got a bunch of gold cups and there's one red one they don't pick the red one they show up wrong and that creates conflict but there's also conflict here within the connection all right uh, this person needs to throw themselves at the mercy of the court so to speak and I don't think their ego will let them do that they, they want to give it you know what if you want this person give it to them you know uh, within reason within reason if, if you call them on their ego it's going to create tension just you, you're gonna have to work it in slow okay you I think you'll get the truth out of this person eventually it's angel energy here in the final outcome try not to fight with them I'm telling you in advance what's going to happen so that you're not surprised. You're not going to be shocked. Is it going to be a shock to you that I'm right? I mean, honestly, I'm a bronze medal winning energy reader, right? A bronze because, you know, I'm not your favorite. But, you know, bronze. Don't give me the bronze. At least give me a silver. I can hawk that if I need the money. Why is temperance here? <laughs> All right, why is temperance here? Why is my mechanic angel here? Huh? He looks just like that. I swear to God, I'm going to take a picture the next time I take my car in for something. I'm going to take a picture. He's going to go, why are you taking my picture, Steve? And I'm going to say, because, oh, I don't know, 40 or 50,000 women uh, want to see what you look like. I want to show them that you, that, you know, that you look like that and a few dudes. There's still, there's actually a few more dudes to come here now than the old days. Uh, my, my channel is actually, you know, up. It's, it's about 6% dudes. So it's up. It, it's up a little bit. There's a few more. Hi, guys. How are you? That's my mechanic angel. I'll show you the picture, too. You know, whatever. Temperance. What do we got here? Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Okay. Whenever I say, oh, oh son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? Same answer, crossing it. They're coming with determination. I swear to God, I shuffled like crazy. I told you my whole angel story. I cried about my bronze medal. And I, I, I backpedaled because I know there's dudes that come here too now. I mean, they're, come, it's, they're, they're picking the wrong thing, the wrong reason. There's angel energy underneath it though. Universe, uh, I probably because I said that and I mentioned the card, that's why it came back. There is angel energy underneath their intentions, even though they show up like this. Okay, male or female, it doesn't matter, there's no genders here. Okay, all right. Oh, Jesus. What's on top? I don't even want to look. Do you want to look? Do you want to just end this now? Okay. It's the Knight of Wands, they're coming. They're, they're coming back. The grass wasn't green. It's red with the Eight of Cups here. The, look, the, the grass on the other side was all broken shit and crap. And now you walk toward your happiness, walking toward the Nine of Cups. It does take some bravery to do that. It takes a lot of bravery for the Eight of Cups. It does. Lots of people stay in bad situations for their whole fucking lives because they, they're too chicken shit to walk away from eight broken cups. Well, why do I say that? Why do I give you that lesson? I don't know. Maybe someday in the future you'll need to walk away from somebody or maybe because this is a brave, impulsive action. The universe has given your person props for being brave, for even crawl, coming but crawling back in the first place. All right? Okay. There's angel energy under their intentions, but this is a card of emotional immaturity. Hence why they're coming here. But I tell you what, that's the difference between me and your person. I would have bought a Corvette. I wouldn't have taken off. I would have had a, an adult conversation with you and, and said, well, I love you, but I think I need to do this. I wouldn't have you out looking at tarot readings to find out what I was thinking. You'd never have to do that. But this person here is making the wrong choices still. It, 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 if the grass, and you got a lot of grass on you, all right, right here. Well, that, they want to come mow that lawn, I'll tell you what. But that's not encouraging but I, it is encouraging that there's angel energy underneath it that's why I say try not to do not engage do not engage just deny the tourist titties and, and, and don't, don't get into a drag them out fight with them All right. if it turns that you know just you got to be brave too that's what, probably why I'm telling you that okay? they got to come right 
What's the final outcome here? Well, they, again, it, it's another card of communication. I got communication, communication, I got communication on the bottom. And they're coming in, communication, there's a chariot right there. And I got communication here as my last card. I got the page of wands. Yeah. They're showing up as a page. They're showing up. It, it's nice though. I like the page of wands of all the pages. It's my party girl in the Lightseer deck. I like her. I'd bang her if I was at the party. Why not? What do I care? But right here, they're showing up as a page. And it's, a, it's one of the better pages, I think. It's a brave page. It's passion. There's some passion. I got wands. I got fire here. It's just not enough. It's the wrong fire. It's something that they've known. It's red with the hermit. They know that this is, is, isn't enough, which is why. But there's some ego here. There's some ego here. Let's, that's the reading, but I tell you what, I'm going to pull a few cards for you. I'm not going to extend this one. There's no need. They're coming back. I, it's the same story, sort of, kind of, not really. I'm going to pull on this Queen of Swords a little bit here. Just give me a second. Humor me for a moment. And I'll pull your universe cards before we go. But while I'm thinking of it, I want to pull on this. Because there's a lot of guilt here in the soul. It's the ego that's getting in the way. Right? I should have had something else there. You know, I should have had something nice there. A queen of cups. Something like that. Right? An empress. And a, a balanced emperor, even. A hierophant. That would have been nice. A magician even I would have taken. They're not, not fancy sandals. Tell me about fancy sandals, universe. What's going on with this person? Tell me a little bit about this person. Why, why are they, you know. They're coming in with passion. There's a conversation coming. It's 3D communication. It is. It's, it's, it's in your face. It might turn into a little bit of a squabble. What's going on here? Tell me about uh, Fancy Sandals Queen here. Yeah, okay, I see the bottom card. I'm going to pull three cards and a bottom card. The Star, the Six, oh my God, the Six of Cups and the Three of Wands. Crossing the Six of Cups is the Nine of Cups. Jesus Christ, this person, I said it before and I will say it again. This person is full of shit. Okay, any work, that's why I tell you, don't engage. Don't, get, don't even get into a fight with them. Any word that comes out of their mouth that is negative towards you in any way is nonsense. It's just ego. It's e e e ego. Let go of my ego. Right there. Queen of Swords. Um, I pulled on this energy and I got the underlayer. It gave me the, not underwear, I got the underlayer. Right? This is a wish fulfilled. This is nines or the end in tarot. This is Tens are the trans transformation. The end that leads to transformation leads to something else. The end, end, end. It's dead, dead, dead. This is uh, the end in tarot. Nine. This is emotional fulfillment. It is wish fulfilled. It is crossing the six of cups. This is something you, you guys are connected for many lifetimes. But this for some of you could be something that's been going on a while. Okay, you have a past with this person in some way, in some capacity. And, and, and that can vary in time for each of you. It could be, well, even if, even if it's just a week, if you're, if you're new to all this and you're watching me, that, that's a past. You have a past with them. Last Saturday, they fucked me over, Steve. Well, you got a past with them. Congratulations. But for most of you, this stretches back, you know, a while. Okay? And it's destiny. It had to happen this way because this person, because of the overall energy card, the midlife crisis. This person had to learn this. They had to go through something. There's some sort of deep trauma here that they have to deal with within themselves. And it looks like they're on the edge of dealing with it. Sort of. It's minor arcana. You know, it, it's minor arcana. And I say, as I say that, I do not know what's underneath this Nine of Cups until I just took a peek just now. As I say that, it's not, they haven't really dealt with it because it's minor arcana. It's right there. It's, it's the seven of swords. Okay? So what this is saying is the nine of cups is the affecting energy over the six of cups. You're the wish fulfilled. You always have been. You always will be. But what they're telling you is nonsense. What they're showing you is nonsense. What they really feel is the loss of this, the five of that's the seven of swords, that's devil energy, it's deception, right? They're not going to show you that. They're going to come in as this, I'm pulling on the queen of swords. 
So it's deception. The queen of swords is deception. What they really feel is that. And that. And that. And they know the fucking truth about you. The queen of tits. Yeah, that happened. I literally just pulled those cards. And they were in that order. Absolutely. The best tits in the tarot. They know damn well that where their grass is green. Right? They want to come mow your lawn and they're worried about it. But this is a card of ego too. It's the eight of swords. It's in the mind. That's where the ego lives. That's our ego. They feel the loss here. This three cards, three cups down, two cups standing. The grass wasn't green or on the other side. And they may have blown you off. May have told you to fuck off, but it was all nonsense. Because you're their wish fulfilled and you go back a long way here. E even if it's just lifetimes in the 5D, this had to happen. This was destiny. The star right here. They had to learn. Now they're, com they're coming back. Now she needs to grow a pair, right? I don't know if she can, but she needs to grow a pair, he or she, and get in the fucking water. And rather than do that, they're going to show up like this thinking, you know, well, I'll, well, we'll just have a big blowout and then we'll... We'll make up afterward or something like that. It's a real immature. Most people who are immature, emotionally immature, who are in relationships, be them long term or whatever, pick fights. They pick fights. If you want to get out of a relationship, you don't. If, if you're emotionally immature and you want to get out of a relationship, you don't sit down and have an adult conversation with the person and say, I'm just unhappy. I think we should split up. I think we should this. No, you pick a fight. It gives you an out. It's an easy out. Right? And people who is and the same is in the reverse. If they if people who are emotionally immature, which this person obviously still is a little bit, and want to come back, and it's might might not be their fault that they're emotionally immature. They might have some past traumas, childhood issues, whatever. But regardless, I'm trying to teach you something, psychologically speaking. People who on the reverse, people who are emotionally immature who want to come back, come back the same way. They pick a fight. The only thing they know is how to fight and, or how to argue or how to create a, a scene of some kind and then that's their way in. It avoids the lovey-dovey conversation. Rather than have the lovey-dovey conversation before the sex, you have a, 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 a post-coital conversation, right? It's always nice. The, uh, the oxytocin is flowing. The endorphins are going. Everybody's happy, uh, assuming they did a good job. And, and there you go. It, it's, it's very common, you know. Yeah, that's why when I see couples that fight all the time, I, I know it's emotional immaturity. You're, you're just, you know, you're, you're just picking at each other back and forth. You got to sit down and have an adult conversation. But that takes adults to do that. So I'm just warning you in advance. And I'm telling you, don't engage. What, it's all nonsense. All right? Let just, or let it play out if you want. Play along. But don't get yourself in a tizzy. And don't give out those Taurus titties to this kind of nonsense. Swords. No, you give it to cups. You make sure they need to be showing up like this. Okay? Straight up. And that's how they should be because that's how they feel. Alright? That's your reading. Uh, I will actually know I promised you universe cards and I'm going to pull them. I always keep my word. Unless I forget it. Uh... <laughs> Give me three cards, universe. Anything else you want to tell Taurus before we go here? Mm. That was unreal. Bottom of that deck is unreal. That's wild. I love tarot. I tell you, it proves to me every day how real it is, how it keeps up with the energy. I love it. All right, here we go. Give me three cards and a crossing card, universe, from the bottom of the deck. What else you want to tell Taurus here? What else you want to tell Taurus? Okay. Uh, I'll pull them here. Okay, you can see that four of wands, two of pentacles, and the three of swords. Crossing the two of pentacles, I know what it wants to tell you, is the nine of swords. The nine of swords was crossing the queen of swords. Alright, listen up. Somebody here, however they split from you, if you were with them and they blew you off for something else, or if you were never with them and they just blew you off for whatever, what, it doesn't matter. Same message. This person here made a bad decision for their long term and they're paying for it. And they knew it right from the fucking start. 
It's been driving them crazy for a long time. This is what I told you around that hermit right there. They know it. And they behave, if they've been behaving aggressively towards you in any way, or mean, or just cold, or whatever, now you know why. Right? There's actually, it's bullshit. There's actually love underneath there. A lot of it. A lot. This person made a bad decision. Nine swords crossing the two of, uh, the two of pentacles. They made a bad choice about their long-term stability. The four of wands. And it cost them. This is a very powerful card in this animal deck. This heart's been ripped to shreds. It cost them. They were stupid. I'm tell The universe is telling you that. It's telling you through me. And I'm telling you, based on my experience, hey, take that to the bank. You know, make, you, you, let that make you feel good about yourself. Right? It costs them dearly. It's their loss, not yours. And if they want, it, and if they want you back, which it appears they do, they better come right. Don't just pass out those Taurus titties. All right, they're damn fine. Make sure, male or female, they could be chicken tits, whatever. All right, they're paying for it. It's right here. That's your reading. Uh, I hope this reading was helpful. If I help one person today, I've done my job. Okay. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck, Taurus. I'll keep an eye on it for you. Mm-hmm.